over at UP later on tonight. Do you know what she smells like, Randy? Not yet, but maybe UP. I'll get this. I'll get this. Smell my hair. <laughs> awesome. I'll maybe, maybe catch like a, a water bottle that she threw away, or maybe like a, a towel. Something with her <laughs> DNA on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> I'll awesome. clone it or something. Okay, all right. So, oh, by the way, your friend Elaine is here in in the booth. We're going to be talking to her in just a bit. Sweet, hi Elaine. Hi Elaine. Says Inka. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hello, Inka. Miss you. Hi. I miss you too. <laughs> She's over in UST. I mean, well, you know, you can't blame her. She's stalking Jessica Sanchez. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know Jessica Sanchez over I miss her today. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just, anyway, okay, all right. So thank you, Inka, and we're looking thank forward you. to uh, hearing more from you a little bit later on to see what's going yeah. on over there, okay? I'll call you later. All right, thanks, Inks. Bye. Bye. That was Inka um, from UST, where Jessica Sanchez apparently just took the stage. And uh, this afternoon, of course, once again, hi, Elaine. Welcome to uh, 99.5 Play FM. Hi. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. And, uh, of course, um, Inka actually booked you. I mean, apparently, you guys, you girls know each other. Yeah. She preferred we met, to girls we met guys. surfing, actually. And you, I guested once on our show. Oh, here. okay. So you've already guested uh, once here. and uh, But this is a relatively new um, portion here. Here in the afternoon, it's called PIMP, Philippine Islands Music and People, and um, you. Uh, it seems sounds like, exciting, yeah. Seems like you fit the category because uh, you are 100% Filipino, or um, kind of. I well, you look joke. Filipino. I say I'm half Filipino, half awesome. <laughs> 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 no, but yes, I'm, like 100, I'm 100% <laughs> Filipino. Yeah, I'm proud to be Pinoy, very proud. So. And uh, you are a surfer chick. Yes. I'm sorry. I yes. don't mean that in a condescending no, 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 way or anything no, yes. like that. Yes, I'm proud. Surfer girl, yeah. Surfer girl. There yeah. you go. Is that yeah. the more appropriate term? Yeah. <laughs> Surfer girl. <laughs> Surfer chick is cool, too. That's okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be talking uh, to you and more of your what, what you're doing now mm -hmm. for, I guess, the surfing community here in the Philippines and stuff in just a bit, okay? All right. Let's play one song, and then we'll get back to uh, Elaine here for PIMP. This is Cher Lloyd and Becky G, 99.5 Play FM. Five Play FM, Cher Lloyd, Becky G, and Oath. This is PIMP, and uh, with us once again this afternoon, surfer girl, Elaine Abunal. Hello, Joey. And tell us about the, your company name again. It's called Surfista Travels Philippines. And what exactly is Surfista Travels Philippines? It's a surf tour company where we package everything. So the surf lessons, the, the transportation, the accommodations, and a lot of free stuff from Surfista and our sponsors. So it's the whole package, it's the whole experience. So it's convenient and fun for everyone who joins. And uh, yeah, because a lot of—I'm assuming all of your, most of your students uh, come from Metro Manila, and <laughs> Manila Bay doesn't exactly have the best waves. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to get out of Manila. Unfortunately, we don't live near a beach with waves, so we have to go somewhere else. But my clients are from Manila, but also people actually fly into the Philippines to join some of the surfista trips, which is super cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Um, uh, where actually do you take them? We usually to La Union. La Union. So La Union okay. is it's really is a really good place for beginners. Um, and then I've started. I've heard that. Why is that? Why why would they say like uh, the San Juan Surf Camp over there mm -hmm. is like My ideal for for, for 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 <laughs> beginners? Uh, because if you want to learn surfing, you have to. People get scared of the the reef or how deep it is, but the beach break there. I think they've gone surfing. <laughs> the beach break there is shallow and it's sand bottom. It's a sand, yeah, it's a sand bottom. So it's not scary. So you want uh, the chances of you getting scraped up isn't really as high as some other places. No, not really. And then um, there's a lot of surf schools there already, and it's near a town with a hospital and a lot of restaurants. So it's yeah. not as hardcore backpacking surfing type so it's easy for beginners it's good for beginners it's funny because i was telling you off air you know um i've been going to the onion for a really long time and it wasn't only until around maybe six seven years ago that i found out that we may surfing pala dito. yeah when did you actually get in uh, uh started with surfing i started hello i'll give away my age <laughs> um, <laughs> i started 10 wow 11 years ago so i was um, surfing wasn't very popular then. I was the only girl with a group of guys who went surfing. Nobody talked about surfing, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it st I started 11, 10, 11 years ago, and then it just started booming in the last five years. 
So it's only been the last five years where you've seen like a really big increase yeah. with with local surfing. Yeah, every or people interested in surfing here locally in mm-hmm. the Philippines. Every year it gets bigger and bigger. There's more surf resorts. People have make their own surf brands. More girls, more guys are wanting to learn how to surf and to travel. So that's really cool. I yeah. know. I mean, back in the day in that San Juan area, um, there only used to be like one or two resorts there. Yeah. And now. Yeah, but it's places like, are popping up everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. And, and you have the the medio budget friendly mm-hmm. resorts and then you also have the really posh and yeah. elegant resort. Yeah, before it was Kubo. Kubo lang. People yeah. <laughs> would sleep on the sand or hang out at the at the Kubo, but now there's a lot of different places to stay. Okay. All right. Yeah. How did you get into surfing? Okay. Yeah, boyfriend. I I I know there's a boy involved here. Boy, somewhere. no. Oh, another girl? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no boy, no boy involved. Just a love for surfing. Um, I've always liked traveling. <laughs> Bakit Valentine's Day? <laughs> exactly, love month the month. that question. Later. <laughs> um, I've always liked traveling. So I was an exchange student to the U.S. when I was in high school. Mm, okay. And then my host family took me to Florida, where they're surfing everywhere. They're right. Okay, maybe they're surfer boys. <laughs> so my mom I knew surfer it. boys, and then surfboards and it was it just looked so cool surfing and i was like if i live in a country with islands and so many beaches there must be surfing somewhere in the philippines and then i googled it or yahoo but i that time i think and then i found one surf school and then from there i never stopped <laughs> so your company basically um you do the teaching as well no i i coordinate there's mm. a surf school that does it but sometimes i explain and i give my little pieces of wisdom to the people. Yeah, yeah. like, mga, you know, uh, my style gen or something like that, like yeah. your, from your experience. Yeah, from experience of hurting myself or people getting into accidents or what I should do, what I shouldn't do. Is stuff. it true, like, the hardest thing about surfing is actually um, getting to stand up and balance on the board or what? Honestly, I don't think that's the hardest thing about surfing. I think people think it is. It's when you're alone and you're paddling because surfing is uh-huh. 90% paddling 10% ac- the actual standing up because you have to paddle out and then paddle to catch the time with Yeah, I know. Okay, so there's a lot of paddling involved. Yeah. And that means that you have to be like at least kind of physically fit, right? Mm, to it, start it would help. to start yeah, to learn, yeah, 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 yeah. right? It helps a lot because you'll get tired <laughs> easily. Your arms will turn jello. Like it, jello. Yeah, if you're if you're at home uh, just on your computer 24/7 for the last 7 years or something like that, you may want to do a couple of push-ups before you actually yeah. go out and surf. Yeah, maybe stretch a little, <laughs> run a little, and do a couple of push-ups. So your body won't get shocked the, when you do it. Because maybe the next day, if you do it, you'll just be in pain oh, the whole day. <laughs> it happens to a lot of people. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, all right. Um, it, it's great. I mean, you you were you're like you have a really nice tan. You're like sun kissed. You. you got the, the the red thing going on Thank on your you. cheeks and everything. It's a little bit blush also. <laughs> <laughs> I we would die up on that. No. Um, but I mean, uh, how often are you like out there catching waves? Every every other day? Every every weekend? No, no man. Um, I'm I live in Manila. I'm based in Manila. But ever since I started this business. I'm at the beach a lot. So I just came back from Zambales last weekend and it was so much fun. Um, at least at least once every month. Once so a month? At least. Wow. So weekends. I try to go weekends, but my schedule lets me go on weekdays also. So this weekend I'm going back to La Union because my friend and I are going to help teach deaf kids. How I No, they're not kids anymore. Deaf adults to serve. Wow. So, well, yeah. that's really nice. Mm-hmm. It's great. So you have these different projects as well that your company are, is involved in. Well, you, that you're involved in. Yeah. Uh, and so it's not just for... I, I mean, that, that's a good thing. That's the first time I ever heard of that. Yeah. Um, wow. My friend, because I started surfing, yeah, 10 years ago, and then I, I started Surfista the Travels because I'm really good friends with, with Luke Landrigan and, and mm-hmm. his dad who owns San Juan Surf Resort. Have you heard of them? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I think everybody knows Luke. Oh. <laughs> Mostly so, the girls. Yeah, I think mostly <laughs> the girls. So I see Luke! I know, I know. <laughs> and then um, they were the ones who actually inspired me to start Surfista Travels because they've seen me bring people to La Union and bring my friends and bring a lot of my foreign friends surfing. So they were the ones who said, um, why don't you start your own company, which I did. And then from there, last year, Luke and I s- um, helped teach special kids how to surf. So it, it's going to be our project. It's gonna Where are be these our special kids from? The ones... 
um, from last December. We do it like a Christmas thing. They're from La Union. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so then, it's kind of like you guys are paying it forward to yeah. uh, the local community there. Yeah. Um, and it's also to show that surfing can be done by by different kinds of people. You shouldn't be limited by your your weight or your 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 skills or your ability or disability. So surfing is for everyone. And then, yeah, our our dream is to do it in different places actually in the Philippines. So I think we're planning to do it in Baler, but one okay. thing at a time. All right. <laughs> it says here uh, on this bit of information about you, you actually speak different languages, which we'll get to in a bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we got Elaine Abunal, our surfer uh, girl this afternoon for PIMP. It is 421. Back in a bit. <laughs> Music has never sounded this 99.5 Play FM. It's a Tuesday. Well, uh, this is, once again, PIMP, Philippine Islands Music and People. My name's Sol Joey, and with me uh, here is our special guest for PIMP, Elaine Abunal, surfer girl uh, from Manila. And uh, it says here on my nice little código that you speak English, French, Spanish, and Tagalog. And body language. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yes. <laughs> How did you uh, come about speaking French and Spanish? Uh, my mom spoke to us when we were kids, to me and my sister. Kids, just a few phrases. And I've always liked, again, traveling and going to other places. And um, I just didn't like not understanding my friends. So I took lessons and then I went to France and Spain to study the languages and voila. <laughs> Do they have surfing over there? Yeah, they're surfing in France and Spain, but I've never gone. I'd, I'd like to, but the water is going to be cold. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to wear a wetsuit. So. Ooh, okay. Yeah. What is the typical, um, you know what, <laughs> the one time I did not know, uh, like six years ago, I actually wanted to surf Okay. and I took a week off of work to head on over to San Juan to try to surf oh. and just, you know, just get Luke to uh, to teach me or some other surf instructor there. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I did not know that there was like a season for surfing. Yes. So I apparently took the wrong, uh, took my week off in the wrong month, which what? was the end of May. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. all day long, we were just staring out into the flat ocean. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's the big misconception about surfing. A lot of people think <clears throat> that when it's summer, ah, oh, this is the time to go surfing because it's summer. But the weird thing here in the Philippines or in the north, um, it's when there's no waves during the summer. The summer is when there are no waves. So, so yeah. what is exactly the season for surfing? here in the Philippines. I would it's a typhoon, right? Yeah. There has to be waves. <laughs> it's just, there's a whole, yeah, it depends. You want, there's different kinds of waves. But of course, there's lightning and thunder yeah. as well. Like yeah, all and all currents those waves. and rip currents, so you don't want that. Um, there's a whole science of depending where the typhoon is, where the waves are going to be good or not good. Is so. surfing a relatively safe sport? Um, I would say it's an extreme sport. So when you're going to play, an ex uh, you're going to do an extreme sport, there's a lot of risks involved because you're playing not just with yourself. No, not. No, that sounded <laughs> wrong. I'm so sorry. It's okay. We know <laughs> what you mean. <laughs> um, you're not just alone out there. You're with other people. There's a, a heavy surfboard involved, and there's the whole ocean factor. So there's a lot of um, factors that you can't control. Mm -hmm. It's safe if you know the waves aren't so big and there's not a lot of pe not a lot of people and you're alone. But um, there's a lot of risks involved. There's a lot of accidents that can happen. And I hear, you know, when you're surfing, you're out there, right? Um, what is the rule for, is, I don't know, pila-pila? I mean, to, to, to catch a wave? Yeah. Or, or is it a matter of, I'm senior. I've been surfing for 85 <laughs> yeah. years. Yeah. 85, Iho. wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, just again, I'm yeah. saturated. But, uh, Iho, I've been, nako, wala ka pa dito sa mundo. Nagsasurf na ako. So. Yeah. The person closest to the peak okay. has priority. So mm. when you're standing on the wave already, the people to his right shouldn't drop in to the right yeah. of the surfer yes because you're the surfer's going right so mm -hmm. it's like cars like overtaking mm -hmm. say you're going really fast on a wave and then somebody just the word is drop in in surfing somebody drops in you can get into an accident Ooh. so that's the rule that's the important rule that we're trying to enforce now because there's a lot of people now in the water it's becoming a problem actually oh okay yeah. But, okay, all right. So who actually, I mean, is there any way of enforcement, you know I mean, for, for the rules? Or what, what's the what's the deal there? Mm, no, it's not like the sur surfing, there's no, like, referee or yeah. there's no, yeah, there's no, nobody's going to blow a whistle. So <laughs> I, I hope it doesn't go to a point. Like where some guy from the URCC is there in the, <laughs> in the middle of the ocean. Aye, aye. 
Shamuna, Shamuna, ah. No fighting here. Wala, wala. I hope it doesn't go to the point that we need somebody like that. So everybody, you know, is relatively friendly. Surfer girl, you can't have priority. So you can kind of break the rules once in a while. You can be like, ah, na lang yung wave, and it's okay. So in other countries, I don't think you can do that. They're like, ah, girl, you can't surf. But here's like, sige go, that's yours. So I'm like, yes, thank you. I love being a surfer girl in the Philippines. Woo! So that just that just shows that Pinoys are more more of a gentleman than anybody else in the world. Uh, yeah. I, I <laughs> We're more gentlemanly, if that's, if that's yeah, a word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So, all right. Uh, we're with Elaine uh, Abunal, by the way, if you just tuned in. She's with Surfista. She's a surfer girl. And uh, do you have a Twitter account that people can actually, you know, follow you and tweet you, hey, where are you surfing this weekend? <laughs> Well, ma, the Surfista account, the Twitter account is at Surfista Travels. But asking you, about your account. Oh, okay, Surfista. my account is <laughs> at Elaine Abunal, if you need to know, yeah. At Elaine Abunal. Yes. And then the Surfista account. Yes, at Surfista Travels. So just tweet anytime if you have any questions. Do you have a website as well, yes. Facebook? There's a website. It's www. No, www.surfistatravels.com. And then on Facebook, it's uh, facebook.com slash surfistatravels. So it's super easy to remember. And there's an Instagram account also. So Great, okay. There's a Surfista Travels one. There's an Elena Bonal one, whichever you'd like to follow. Now, you mentioned earlier that surfing is a relatively extreme sport. We're going to be asking you in just a bit uh, your most extreme experience as far as the world of surfing. So okay. Elaine's extremist surfing experience coming up in a bit. This is PIMP Philippine Islands Music on People on 99.5 Play FM. There's a short board and the long board. Long board is more cruising. Okay. And I used to not like big waves at all. I used to be really scared. But because of this um, business, I've had to go with different kinds of people surfing. So last October, well, one, I was in Shargao last mm-hmm. May. And I was always hanging out with locals. And the locals always push you to go. There's really big waves in Shargao, like even bigger than a house. Because, I mean, um, it, it's amazing that... Um, you know, you, you you mentioned earlier that it's only been like the last five or six years that surfing has actually picked up here in the Philippines as yeah. far as pop. Um, we're pretty big, so I would say just the f- of surfing in Cloud Nine in Chaga was a big deal. Why did they call it Cloud Nine? It after so, uh, uh, new sponsor for surfing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud Nine, but just short boards are more are less stable. <laughs> Wait, you're thinking of something no, else. No, I'm not thinking anything <laughs> at all. I just like your, the words you're using. Okay. Um, short boards are, more, are less and you can cross step. It's super great. Wait, what's hanging five and what's hanging ten? Okay, hanging five is when you walk in front of your longboard and then you hang your five toes in front. And then hanging oh. ten is when you have all ten toes in front of your longboard. Are you serious? Like all the way at the tip? Yeah, so you're, so say this is the longboard, your toes are there and you kind of go... Like that, and then you. And you back. can do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. Other people can. You can. Do, can you hang five? I've tried it once. Yeah, you have to be very fast and very. You have to be very stable on your board. Wow. Yeah, it's fun. I like cross stepping. It's like dancing on your surfboard. It's like aerobic class. Yeah, it's more great. <laughs> Just kidding. Like ballet, like ballet on uh, on the ocean. Okay, yeah. we got Elaine Abunal here, uh, our surfer girl. Our with the uh, local surfers around yeah, the yeah, Philippines. Local. There's a lot more. Guys, I'd say eight out of ten, eight guys surf and then two girls surf. So in competitions, there's all, always a lot more guys and guy kids surfing and a few girls. But for Manila, Manila girls, for people who want to learn or those who join my trip, yeah. there's, I would say, seven or eight girls out of ten. Are you serious? So it's the girls that are more interested? I think a lot of girls like crying and are not afraid to... Or maybe they're all interested in Luke Landry. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> it's like, is that part of the package deal? <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes he's not there. So um, No, but he's my, one of my best friends. And um, a lot of girls surf, I think, the whole... Insight, basically, on how much a person would spend. And if I mean, like, okay, me, I'm interested, I want to surf, um, let's do it in La Union. How, how much are we talking about? With Surfista Travels. Yeah, with Surfista Travels. Uh, everything is included, the accommodation, so proper rooms with air con and... Um, hot shower? Shower, so, yeah. So, <laughs> seriously, I cannot take a shower without yeah. a hot without hot water. Yeah, um, your own beds and then the transportation, private transportation for surf lessons. 
happens, depending if it's to a weekend. Um, everything with shirts, etc. This is like three days. We show the people different um, local cuisine. Okay. Because sometimes we have clients from other countries. We have had clients that don't from, eat the nakbet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Balot. Oh my gosh, I love <laughs> balot. We've, I've made some people eat balot. I'm sure. Day, okay. So. So, um, All right. So included. it's a convenience that you're paying for. Yeah. So yeah, you you arrange everything mm -hmm. and you yeah. organize, and they won't be alone. Yeah. Right. We have it in Fridays. We're gonna have a reunion. But I invited not no offense to other people, but I, I invited just the surfistas, those Hi. who you can come. <laughs> you're special. Just you can kidding. come. I'm <laughs> kidding. You're invited. <laughs> um, everyone can. Um, it's like a reunion for the past pieces because sometimes we met each other and then we don't see each other again so it's a good excuse to have a reunion and to celebrate the one year birthday of Surfista Travis. Wow congratulations Thank you. one year. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm happy. Well happy birthday to Surfista Thank and uh, many more birthdays to come. I many more so. celebrations next I hope so. next year you'll probably have like Parokya and Edgar in your wow. you know, <laughs> second birthday party so. or something like that <laughs> you know. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And once again, we got Elaine Abunal here uh, for PIMP, Hello, Philippine everyone. Islands Music and P and People, and of course uh, she's with Surfista. Surfista Travels. Surfista Travels. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you guys want, uh, you know, to learn to surf and all that, what wh what are the different ways again that they can get in touch with you? Uh, please go to the website www.surfistatravels.com or check out the Facebook page. Just type Surfista Travels Philippines or Tweet us at, at Surfisa Travels and Instagram, Surfisa Travels. And the email is surfisatravels at yahoo.com. Okay. And, of course, you can follow Elaine at Elaine Abonal as well. Yes, my personal one is Elaine Abonal. And yeah. same with Instagram if you like photos. I post a lot of You know, so there's to speak. This, there's this Japanese model that I was telling you about, Akihiro Sato. He can Who's say, he? He, Japanese, bra Brazilian, <laughs> bra huh? Brazilian, Japanese who can... Uh, Surf. He's, hot. <laughs> he's, he's, he's nice. He's really nice, and he can surf really well. He's really nice. <laughs> no, he's hot. I, I'm shy. Somebody might hear me say it and tell him, but no, it, it's funny because when you actually said that, when you mentioned that off air, all the three other girls <laughs> here all knew who he was. I know. And I was like, but, okay, yeah. like the regular surfers, the yeah. hardcore. I see her surfers. all the time in love. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, and maybe you when you start surfing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just Joey a regular person. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh man, me. Uh, how long did it take you to actually, you know, stand up? One weekend. One weekend? Yeah. Like how many times? How many tries? A, a lot of tries. Like but uh, I think 10, 20? Like that, that would be cool. <laughs> An electric surfboard? Yeah. Ooh, that would no, be cool. I think they're putting little motors. I saw it somewhere. Right. You could just turn on and off to help you yeah, paddle? Yeah, I guess so. Through the waves? Yeah. Oh. That won't be as fun, I think. It'll help for bigger waves, I'd say. It'll help bigger people. <laughs> yeah, you're not big, so you don't need it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Elaine, thank you very much thank for taking... Thank you very taking, much for having me. Me. Taking uh, time out of your schedule to uh, to join us today for PIMP and uh, happy birthday once again to Surfista. Thank you, thank you very much for everyone. So thank you very much. Surfista travel, Elaine Abunal. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.